may the force be with us. Get up, get up, get up! Get up! Sorry, it was a gong show in there. We're gonna prep for second cut this week while we're lambing, because that's fun. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. It's about 5.30. Yesterday was a good day slash challenging day. It was just kind of one of those days. We I haven't had many of them in this lambing group. I haven't had many frustrations. Uh, so yesterday was just one of those ones, and it was it got really hot. So it was one of those days I was just like, oh, I should have went back to bed. So here's hoping that today is a better day. I want to check those lambs. Turn on the lights, I guess. Um, and check those mums for milk. Carissa came in last night around 8.30 and topped all the babies up. Oh my goodness. My little one is drinking. What? Monkey? Did she train you on that machine? Oh my god. That is crazy. That's the one that got laid on. You're a good little baby. Survivor! Oh, I love you too! Oh, that's amazing. Alright, well, let's see if your siblings made out okay. Are you guys getting sick of my lambing videos? I only have 20, as of last night, there's only 20 ewes left. <laughs> They're pretty chill. It's nice this morning. It's cooled off. It's been really nice at night. Night and mornings have been cool. But man, the days are getting hot this week. And we desperately need rain. They look okay. And mom's not laying on them. That's good. Good morning, you guys. Okay, this one's up drinking. So we'll see if it's getting any... been on that teeth for a while, so hopefully. <laughs> Are you milking now, honey? Alright, let's go see if we got more babies. Good news, this ewe has milk and quite a good stream when I manually kind of strip out the teat and the babies aren't, they aren't moving off the teat. So that's a good sign as they do, just as I said that, but there's quite a bit of milk there. So, and the more they keep working on her, the more she's gonna keep milking. However, big mama, I didn't get much out of her, but I got a little bit. And those lambs are working pretty hard too. So I am gonna actually give them a bottle this morning and I'm gonna see how much they drink from me and then uh, just keep watching her. She was really weak on her feet yesterday all day. Uh, so I would imagine she might have had it a little worse than the other one. I might even treat her one more time for, for preg talks, which is just the calcium and the uh, uh, glycol. I can't believe that little lamb. That just warms my heart. I wonder if Carissa trained it last night. Bless her little heart, she probably did. <laughs> You're a little survivor. I will make this pen bigger as they get bigger, but I want them close. I want them close to the nipple, especially when they're training. Good little baby. So the good thing about uh, finally getting that milk machine hooked up is I can get all my bottles now after they're done their colostrum. I can get, if I'm worried about a lamb not getting milk or I have a, a lamb not going on the machine, great. If I have to feed them by the bottle, uh, I can take it right out of the hose. And it's all pre-measured and, and it's warm already. So 
it's kind of nice once I kind of wait until I need the machine but it is nice once it's up I get I get to I don't have to mix all this stuff by hand which is really nice Crazy hungry. I only drank 150, 150 mils, which I thought they'd be a lot hungrier. Hi. All right. So maybe they've gotten a little bit. Let's see what this one does. Yeah. This one's a little more chirpy, so maybe it hasn't drank. Hi. You look a little more hungry. Okay, so that one drank, uh, yeah, 150 as well. Want some more? <laughs> yep. Well, you guys are pooping because you pooped on my leg. Ah, and now it's on my finger. <laughs> Gross. Okay, good babies. Probably have to pull you guys too if she doesn't come into her mouth. So that's pretty much all you have to do. If you're not sure a ewe is producing milk, you feed the lambs. You can leave them with mom if she's good with them, which this one is, and do all you can for her to come into her milk. She doesn't have a lot of damage that I can feel, but I'll treat her again and just keep watching but until they come into the milk you gotta get those you gotta keep feeding those lambs the danger is kind of like humans the more you start to feed them a certain way that is kind of how they get used to it so they do get used to the bottle they get used to me they get used to my voice and then as soon as i even walk by them they're like ah, they want me to feed them and then they just don't want to drink off mom at all and the problem with that engorged you that's what happened to her because i was the one feeding them so they would associate me with feed and not mom so they just never really got interested in her because i couldn't get them on her teats even after a couple days so the decision to pull them was i think the right one um my friend sophie from new zealand has since sent me and she goes oh i wish i saw the video earlier she's since sent me a link to a product you can actually it's like a milk machine for sheep and she said it's a godsend and that I should probably buy one to have one on hand if that ever happens again she worked on a dairy sheep farm and she says that hot that happened often uh, and they used that machine and loved it so I want to show you those lambs though and why I'm glad I pulled them so that's the one see how just nicely blooms like it's done really well and that's the other one that I thought wasn't even gonna make it and they're both I'm so glad like that's when this machine pays off because um, I would have been having to feed those four or five times a day to get that same result probably more than that Hi. that's the one thing when you are dealing with stuff at scale you do have to just make those tough decisions um, when, especially if you have a machine that can do it, you just got to do it. And, uh, and mom is fine now. She doesn't even care. They don't like it for the first couple days and then they seem to be okay. You are just blowing my mind, little one. And she's, it's happy and mom doesn't even know because it's still got her twins, so. Sweet. These guys are getting onto their creep well before they saw me. <laughs> I look like quite something today. You look fine. 
roads sometimes. Where are we off to, Madre? We have to get parts for Dad. Because we have to finish the Alari cart. Because we're moving it from side dressing back to planting. We Even never, though we never, never used, used it for it. side dressing. <laughs> um, and then we're going to get McDonald's. Because we're McDonald's breakfast addicts. <laughs> and we have, no <laughs> we have no groceries. And I already had breakfast, but I'm getting more. <laughs> You're a growing girl. That ain't stopping me though. I'm long. I can find a leg to fit in. You're long? Yeah, I'm long. There's more to feed. <laughs> just more body mass. Well, I'm just trying to keep you happy so you don't. <laughs> um, with a pineapple mango smoothie. Thanks. Yummy. Looks like she's wearing off her McDonald's. What's dad doing? Spraying. Oh, is he? Yeah. Did Spring. he just start? What? Did, did he just start? Um, when I start power washing. Like, how many loads has he done? Just one? One. Okay. I'm just waiting for Mark to come back because I think we're going to move the Alari cart out. Jess and him were working on that all day yesterday. Uh, just moving some, moving some of the openers because they were going to use this for side dressing. Mark was, and then he ended up not. He used, he ended up actually using the uh, spreader. I think he's got videos coming out on all that stuff. He is so behind too because he's trying to finish his Nuffield project. Uh, so anyway, we want to get this out because we have to get the disc vine in uh, because if you remember from first cut, someone uh, blew up the disc vine. So. I'm just waiting for him to get back because I think I have to go to town to get a bearing for it. Uh, we're gonna, we were gonna rip the whole thing apart and redo it. We don't have time. This is the hub that we're actually, that is busted. So I believe this is the, the bearing that I need to replace. Uh, so I'm just waiting for him to come back for some instructions and go to town and get that so we can start working on the hay vine. I think we're going to try and cut tomorrow. I've got my bagger lined up. Bob, my bagger lined up for Thursday and Ethan's lined up for Thursday. I dropped off the hitches for him to fix. He bought new springs for them. And I think our hay is going to be probably, uh, it's just in bud right now. Mark went through it. It's definitely not as thick as first cut, which is usually like we're hoping just to get one bag full of feed and if there's by any chance anything remaining we want to make dry hay out of it the week is hot and dry so there's no rain in the forecast um, until next week and even that probably only if we get a thunderstorm it like it's just turned really dry here which is really scary so we're going to take advantage of the weather cut the hay get it dry hopefully and maybe if we're lucky maybe it'll rain after we cut the hay like after we get the hay off the off the field i'm gonna run in and show you what the hay looks like and uh we're gonna prep for second cut this week while we're lambing because that's fun so this is our new seeding and as you can see the oats are already in head and the alfalfa is actually already in flower which means it's very mature uh, so it's not going to yield near as high in like in the protein and stuff, but that's okay because this is going to be like rocket fuel. I think what I'm going to do, um, depending on if we do this first or last, I'll mark the bag where we kind of finish off and start from new seating to, um, to the old seating because it's going to test completely different and I'll be able to get Jamie to test this stuff and that stuff and we'll feed it a bit different, but let's have a look at this so the oats are you know at my well right there it's my belly so pretty tall so it'll yield it'll yield up pretty good I think uh, but the you know the alfalfa is way shorter uh, this is a thin spot though let's go in where it's a little bit better for my ego okay now it's up to my belly it's over my belly 
So it is, can you see that? It's up to just under my chest. That's the oats. <laughs> so it's deceiving. There's more here than I thought. But yeah, the alfalfa is quite a bit shorter. So, whoa. So even though um, the protein will be lower, they're gonna actually, they could get a little bit of energy just from this grain, depending on the stage of it. Mark's way smarter at that stuff than me. I just kind of regurgitate what he tells me. Let's go see what this uh, other seeding looks, the second cut looks like. Well, I'll be darned, there's actually grass in here. You can't tell from the house, oh, it's so soft. So, bud, how do you tell? I don't, I'm just not very smart on this stuff. Maybe you guys know, is that bud? I don't know. So it is, let's see, let's get a thicker spot here too. It's up to my knees. So it's, it's kind of tall. It's not crazy tall and it's definitely not as dense as thick, but it looks pretty good. We were a little getting a bit concerned you can start seeing some like droughty spots because it's been so hot and we haven't had near enough rain. Um, so we thought we might as well just match the staging now and then we can get a third cut together. And uh, potentially for the first year ever, we're gonna try for a fourth cut, which we never usually do because we like the reserves for first cut. I love seeing the barn from this side. What a beauty picture. May the force be with us. Well, we've been hard at uh, fixing the hay vine all afternoon and it's almost back together. We had to replace two pods all together. Kind of a pickle to take apart and put back together and everything's seized because it's old. But I figured I better check on these lambs. Let's go see if there's any babies. Wow, who do you belong to? I think this one ran away. I think mom is way down there. Let's see what this is doing. Maybe she's got another one, but if she doesn't, that means she has, oh, Mom, get up. There's another one here. Mom, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. So she had one. Get up, Mama. That's not yours. Go we'll get your baby. All right, I'm going to do some moving around. Your baby's down there. Oh, what a rodeo. Uh, so this one, luckily, this one is in love. In love is good. The other one is requiring a bit of convincing, but she's not feeding the lamb up. She's just really upset. But I think the lamb, the lamb's drinking. See the lamb? Well, I'm kind of sitting beside mom here. She's losing her mind, but she's not kicking the lamb, so that's progress. Can you stop, please? Just love your baby. Keep drinking, buddy. Mommy's got milk. Okay, I gotta run back and help Mark, but I got everybody fed, bedded. I ended up putting crazy girl in a halter I just I gave her lots of lead because she's still good with her lamb like she's not kicking it but she's like trying to lurch out out of the pen because she's just so she's got enough rope I think she'll be okay I just want her to know that that's where she has to stay I want her to stay calm so she's getting a little better I think This way she can still smell her lamb, like she can still turn her head and smell the lamb. 
which I want, but she can't like try to jump and trample the lamb. So, and the lamb is amazing. She, <laughs> she just keeps, he just keeps eating. So he just keeps doing half the work, which is good. Sorry, it was a gong show in there. trying to uh, put the cutter bar back on, which is finickety. So the daughter is staying with the father and I'm staying on the tractor. Good. Good. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, baby. Hi. Well, it's a good thing I came back in. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Come on. I know you're pretty little. Yeah, hi! Hi! You're pretty little. Hi! Oh, that's another save. You girls. Hi, you're so tiny. Oh, goodness, what is the matter? I don't know about this one. 